Hey there, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. So I wanted to bring up a topic that piggybacks on a theme we've had going here for a couple months, which is fresh beginnings, bright beginnings, fresh starts. Um, we started talking about that related to Brightline Eatings, um, big pivot to membership, which is completed now. Um, and just so you know, starting now, moving forward, anytime you or anyone else wants to join Brightline Eating, you just go to brightlineeating.com and it's 20 bucks a month or $200 a year to get into the core membership. And what that means is you start off with the Brightline Eating Bootcamp, you lay your foundation strong, and then you get into Bright Lifers, where the journey continues and there's a lot of support for reaching maintenance and so forth. Now, in Bright Lifers, there's a lot of calls available, coaching calls, and one of them is the daily accountability call. And something just came up recently when I was leading the daily accountability call that led to this vlog topic. Um, someone called in and said, Susan, you said something uh, about a year ago on the accountability call, you gave a definition of surrender and it was really helpful. Do you know what that was? Can you give the exact words again for us now, please? And I laughed and I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know. But she brought up the general idea of what I had said and it was that re something like real surrender uh, manifests as um, doing whatever it takes to protect your bright lines one day at a time. And I said, oh, that makes sense. And then we had a little conversation about it that struck me as so important that I wanted to shoot this vlog about it because this is a nugget of perspective, wisdom, um, truth, whatever that can only be gleaned by watching countless people, lots of people, try to stop eating addictively and get on the wagon, if you will, with addictive foods and stay that way over decades, literally decades. This is not something that I came to quickly at all. It also um, is something that I've gleaned watching my own really passionate attempts to get back on track with my food in the years that I, and really two periods of time where I was off track with my food in the ditch really desperately and trying to get back bright and stay bright consecutively. I'm talking about back in Sydney, Australia, back in 2003, uh, when I first stopped eating sugar and flour and then six months later I dove back into the food and I had nine full-on attempts to, you know, stop eating sugar and flour again and get consecutively serene and clean with my food. And then the more recent time from 2015 to 2019 when I was periodically going back to addictive eating and then uh, trying to put that plug in the jug. Again, the plug in the jug is an alcohol reference, so pardon me mixing my metaphors here. But I personally have had those two strings of time where I was myself trying to draw that line in the sand, to have the fresh start, to have the bright beginning, and make my resume really stick and really count. So here's the lesson. Are you ready? It is, in my opinion, kind of horrifying and sad and shocking how meager the association or the link is between the depth of someone's desperation and willingness, like really deep longing to stop eating addictively and to turn over a new leaf and have a bright beginning and their ability to, or the likelihood that they will, follow through on that day in and day out long term. And it, it in my experience and in myself and watching others, it's horrifying and shocking and sad 
how much a profound experience of epiphany and revelation around what we were doing wrong in the past, how we must change course, how we are so deeply surrendered to never living like that again, how weakly that is correlated, like the spiritual experience piece. Even <laughs> what I said on the accountability call is even if Angel Gabriel himself comes down and blows the trumpet and says, you need never eat addictively again. In my experience, after profound spiritual experiences, that has never happened to me, but after profound spiritual experiences, I have returned to addictive eating sometimes within a, a shockingly short amount of time. I mean like a couple of days, two, three, four, five days. And in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, one of the books that um, really characterizes the addictive mind which pertains to food, if you think about it in terms of food. Uh, one of the things it says in there is exactly this point I'm making, which is once the mind has become warped by a substance, an addictive pattern really profoundly, um, that mind is unable to call to mind with sufficient force the suffering and humiliation of even a week or a month ago uh, leaving us vulnerable to picking up our drug of choice again, whether that's sugar and flour or whatever else. Um, even when just a week or a month ago, we were so certain that we would never ever pick it up again. Now those spiritual experiences of I'm done with this forever, they can sometimes last for sure. All I'm saying is they don't always. And this leads me to the crux of the point that I'm making in this week's vlog, the crux of the point, which is effective surrender, the kind that has teeth and that really lasts, is reborn again one day at a time. And it shows up in our determination to do whatever we have to do for that day to protect our bright lines. That is the essence of it. It's not the kind of thing that we can rely on having experienced a week or a month or a year ago. We've got to rebirth it every day. And of course, once we build up automaticity with our habits, a lot of that can be done non-consciously. So long as there aren't uh, the beginnings of thoughts, of plans to eat off plan, hatching in our mind and steering us off course. But the minute those thoughts of plans of eating something off plan start to hatch, that's the crux of the moment when our surrender from long ago needs to give birth anew today to a resolution to cast that thought out of our mind, to be vigilant against it, to do whatever it takes today to protect our bright lines. <sighs> I wish there were a fresh start, a new beginning, a line in the sand that we could draw with such force that it would last for months and years. But the only way that I've seen that happen is if we renew our commitment to it in a behavioral sense by going the extra mile to protect this way of life, this way of eating that affords us all these benefits, living in a bright body, often for many of us, um, letting go of so many medications that we used to need to take, such better health status, such better moods, such better self-esteem, such better relationships, so much more purpose in life. Oh my gosh, I mean, the benefits of living bright are innumerable. And we protect them by being willing to defend this way of life against 
the the shiny glimmer of that first bite the voice that tries to tell us that we can have just one that it'll be different this time that we'll get back on track on monday the surrender of your of you know of wh whenever it was only does us any good today if it helps us give birth anew to the determination to stay bright right now. Hmm. I'll close by saying in December of 2017, four years ago, I shot a vlog that I think was called Sweet Surrender. And it was about one of the most powerful surrenders I've had in relation to the food. And it did result in me being bright for a time, but not consecutively up to the present day. And I stand here today bright, you know, two years and two months and whatever. And I did not two years and two months ago have any kind of powerful surrender experience that felt like it would last. Whatever line in the sand it was that I drew then, it's only lasting because I recommit in the present day to being bright today. I wish there were a permanent solution to this. <sighs> I wish we could just lose our weight and then be different people, you know, just not be people who ever needed to worry about this again. Alas, it is a one day at a time thing that we need to recommit to. So that's the weekly vlog. I'll see you next week.